I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and today I'm gonna show you some stretches that you can do from a chair. So a lot of us sit at a desk for work, or most of us have some sort of a chair at home. So these are great stretches that you can do throughout your day, just to loosen up the muscles, get a little bit of flexibility training. Also great ones to do at the end of the workout. These stretches we're gonna do are what we call static stretching. So you're getting into position and holding, and these are great after a workout. So starting just seated in the chair, the first stretches I'm gonna show you are just a hamstring and a hip stretch. So very similar to what we do in a lot of our cool downs in our workouts, but we're doing from the seated position. So putting one foot out and just folding over, breathing into it, pull the toe towards you. You should feel a nice good stretch through the back of the leg, calf, hamstring, around the knee joint, leaning into that. And of course, with all of these stretches, we wanna be holding at least 20 to 30 seconds, if not more, I would recommend more. So, and also making sure that we get both sides. So if you have a little break in your work day, get a little hamstring stretch, fold over into it, let your head and neck relax too, and you'll get a nice good neck stretch. And a little tip is to take a few deep breaths, and every time you exhale, you can sink a little deeper into that stretch. That also helps you hold it longer. So also from here, we can do a hip stretch. So again, similar to what we do on the mat, crossing the foot over. So starting here, even just holding this, you should feel a good stretch through the hip, through the back of the leg. But if you want a little more, you can pull it closer to you. You can even gently press that knee down or pull up on that opposite foot. That increases that stretch. Lean into it, push down with the knee, up with the foot. And if you really wanna get advanced, you can bring it in here to get more of a stretch. Hip stretch, again, making sure you're getting both sides. Another stretch that feels really good is to sit as forward as you can onto your chair, reach those hands behind, grab if you can, and just lean forward into it. Obviously, be careful, make sure your chair is sturdy. So you're not gonna go anywhere, but leaning, opening up that chest. And if you can't grab on, just reach those hands to the back and you'll get a good stretch through the chest, through the shoulders, through the biceps. Also coming behind our chair, we can do a little back stretch. So just here, sitting those hips to the back, pressing the shoulders down. If your chair is really sturdy or you've got a railing or the couch or something, you can really even lean your body weight into it. But again, safety first, be careful. Just think about hips to the back and that'll make sure you get hamstrings and glute stretch, but also putting, pushing the shoulders down and really lengthening as long as you can. So there's a big difference between this stretch and as long as you can make those arms and the legs. So pushing down, grabbing on, really lengthen all the way through the back, hamstrings all down the back of your body. So that's a good one. And then also just getting a basic quad stretch. So we do this from the mat as well, but bringing the foot up if you can, tilting the hip forward and getting a hip flexor stretch and also a quad. This is also really great for the knee. So this is one way to do this stretch, but I'm gonna show you one other way. Hold on for balance. The other way to do it is to come here, put your foot here, that might be a little bit easier for some of us, and then grab here. So that way you have a little bit of extra support. And again, making sure that your chair is very secure. So those are just a few of the many stretches you can do from a seated position. Again, I would encourage you to do these static stretches at the end of your workouts, but also throughout your day.